I'm gonna just say, yeah. All right. This woman, Rachel Dolazar. Uh, I don't know who she. This is. is the white woman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who claimed that she was black? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then people outed her. Yeah. Although she had been doing the work all the time. Uh, that's right. All right. Now, now here's the thing. We can say that if a man decides that he's a woman, or a woman decides they're a man, we don't have a problem with that. Mm. But if somebody who's white says that they're black and does the work, there's a question. We get upset. But you see, this <laughs> that's the point, and that's actually the point. The whole point with all with, with you know pe people like uh, you know Marcus Garvey or you know or Sekou Tore or you know whoever come through. You can come here as as you want, but if you're going to come here just to pimp off the land, that's or pimp off the people and the struggle. Versus you come here to join the struggle. Mm -hmm. That's the point. That's the difference. Yeah. That, See, that, that and is. that's the problem that I also had with ADOS. Because they were saying that, you know, if you came here like Garvey or you came here like Elon Bay Brath and you did the work here, that you had no claim to any kind of reparations or anything like that. Okay, listen. I got you. But I think people, people are really confused about this. Ados is and I is is a lineage that you cannot just willy nilly. No, right? I and hold, I'm, hold, 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 hold a second. What they are saying, even though it doesn't come out that way, is that it's your lineage. If you if you did the work, in other words, if you went through enslavement and you struggle and you went through Jim Crow and you went through you know lynching, whatever, that's your that's your lineage. That's different, right? If you come like a, as an alarm, in fact, they say if you come as an alarm bay brat, for instance, right? And you're there doing the work. Your lineage still, you're doing the work here. You join, you join, you, you said, oh, hey, part of my thing will be here. I'm going to I'm help. Here. I'm going to help. The, in fact, you made, you made it so that I perhaps can get in school, whatever have you. So I'm going to help you because blah, 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 blah. But still, my lineage, right, comes from, uh, where is it from? Uh, St. Kitts, wherever, wherever, wherever Lombay's from, right? Yeah. Or Garvey so, from Jamaica. Yeah. So, but, so, 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 hold on a second. So my reparations has to come to the come to the colonial power that did that to me there even though i came here to fight that's not my my i can't i'm, I'm helping you all get your reparations that's it i don't know why y'all but, get, get but he is his his for me the issue and that is is that the reparation struggle is not a national struggle it's a pan-african struggle no 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 hold on hold on that's that's it's a pan-african struggle in fact that all of the colonial powers coming to you you have to struggle against those colonial powers yeah well but they, to me, ultimately, while we can struggle where we are, we also need to struggle collectively in regards to going ahead and making that international demand. That's the Pan-Africans problem. Yes. No, I'm saying they have to make the international demand. No, well, I'm no, a Pan-African. No, uh, uh, fine, fine. <laughs> then you make the international demand. But if you're Eidos, then you, know, you have two prongs. You have the Eidos prong and the inter Hold on. You have the international demand. Hold on, hold on. Let me explain this to you. So say, for instance, you're from, okay, say Jamaica's in Caracom. Say Jamaica's in Caracom. So you're going to get your reparations from England because Caracom has done that. That has nothing to do. You can't get it from also the United States. Now. You can't do that. You, which, you, the, the, the fight that you're talking about, the Pan-Africanist fight, if you will, which is just an extension of a nationalist fight because we have all these nationals, then be, if you become national, then become a Pan-Africanist. And that's a global fight. Your fight is not for reparations. Your fight is against uh, uh, Anglo-racist white supremacy. That's the fight. See, but then there becomes, it becomes time limited. All right? So, suppose I, like Garvey, came... In when did he probably arrive here? Nineteen, I can't remember the year. Uh, Booker right, T. Washington, fourteen, right after, Booker right Washington. Washington. after he died. Yeah, yeah. Right. So anyway, he he arrives here, right? Mm. But now he has children here. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now these particular children, who are citizens of the United States, undergo the kinds of issues that we underwent from the time that they were born. Until now. All right. Marcus Garvey Jr. just died. Julius, his other son, is still alive. All right. So they're citizens, and they also underwent many of the same exactly. problems that we had exactly. since 
let's say I don't know when they were born, 1925, 1930, whenever they were born. Yeah. All right? So, of course, there's still something there. And they went through redlining. They went through. They went through redlining. They went through okay, Jim Crow. They went how, through all of that. How many stuff. do you think is in that category? What percentage? It's such a small percentage. That's I'm not. not what, hold, on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm trying to say it's easy to deal with with that kind of situation. What they are talking about is actually the folks that came here post 19, say 1965. Let's make it 19, 1980, right? Who came here? And now they 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 all of all, all of the, the affirmative action, if you will, all that. Wait a second. They get all of that, but they didn't go through Jim Crow. They didn't go through lynching. They didn't go through uh, 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 slavery. That's not their lineage. And then they come, and you, the, the, the the biggest case, you know, I know I'm not going to jump on Nigerians, but let me just give you, <laughs> give you an example. Say, for instance, in fact, I'll give you a better example. The guy that's the head of of uh, of um, um, home of not home affairs, not talk about uh, immigration to get into South Africa. The current head from the United States, the United States head, whatever you the whole runs the embassy, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. He is he was born in the United States. His mother, as he was born in the United, I'm sorry, he's born in the United States because his mother was pregnant on the plane that landed here. He became hold on a second, he became nice. <laughs> his <laughs> older brothers are Ni are still in Nigeria. His mother and his father, whatever, because they was professors, whatever have you, they that. Now when he was raised, first he was in California, right? And then you know, we're living life. Then he moved then they moved to Queens. And I asked him, I said, Oh man, and you just hang out with Oh no, no, we didn't have anything to do with that. You know, I, I was da 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 da. That's that's what that's what AD is, is really talking about. And now so so now we you you can argue you know the guy went to Harvard, whatever the deal is, because he squirreled away in his little Queens apartment, really studying, you know, where other people up, still struggle, whatever it is. That's what they're talking about. They're not talking about the, the Garveys and, the, and like, like like that. You can latch onto a personality, but I just latched on another personality. Mm -hmm. But most you, you don't come on, don't be disingenuous. You know those folks that came after 1990. What kind well, of struggle well, did they listen, do? Well, listen, brother, I'm I'm not even when I, I raised Ilambe and I raised Garvey yeah, as that's, examples. That's what I'm saying. There, but how many people? How many people are like that? Come but on. But there's a lot. So, think know, about this. I know, this. I know. So, Samori, everybody. No, no, but there's a lot. When you yeah. think about the fact that when the Garvey movement started their credit unions and going ahead and amassing dollars so people could buy homes, many of the people who were buying homes were originally from the Caribbean. Okay, but that's, that's the point. 1920s? That's, in fact, that's another 1930s? point. 1930s? That's another point. That's a that's a very good many, point. but that's right. not no, all. No. And, and but, but right now there's a, almost like a I don't want to say a colony, but there, there are people from that's been in the Caribbean for a long time. They have they, they had houses, say in Brooklyn, you know, saying I don't know, we're, we're out there in Brooklyn, by by, by Brooklyn College, and in know? the Bronx, by okay. me. But let me let's we'll say what. Now they've been there for generations. Their children, who haven't struggled either, you know what I mean? Their children are waiting for them to die. So they can take that house, sell it for a million dollars, and move down where? Move where? Move down to North Carolina or South Carolina. Displacing those people who don't have that lineage, they don't have that money. They didn't have that, they couldn't get whatever, whatever, whatever. Or better still, they, they were farmers or whatever. And during the civil rights movement, they, 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 they leveraged their house to, to get people out of jail. That stuff was taken. They, they didn't go through that, you see? So we can sort all that stuff out. You know, but, and I'm not in, in any kind of disagreement in regards to the fact that you know, if you just came here or whatever else it is, you know, you don't necessarily have dibs on, or, or on, uh, you know, the spoils of whatever reparations that we go. But the first thing that has to happen is that there's got to be a real legitimate struggle to achieve that, you know, to go ahead and get the reparations. And right. from that perspective, I think that there has to be an international aspect to that. Well, you All can right. have to then, then deal with the international aspect. I'm saying, but you, you know what you have to do with your international aspect? Then, especially Pan-Africanists, this is what I say to the Pan-Africans, oh, really? Well, how, then you need to get NATO out of Africa. That's your job. What's NATO doing in Africa? Listen. No, 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 no. I'm listen. trying to say, this, no, this, this, listen. your struggle is so much. Yeah, there's, there's, it's, it's a broad struggle, and it's a, a, a struggle that we successfully entered into let us say 50 years ago when we had the African Liberation Support Committee when we were organized probably like no other time in our history to go ahead to support liberation movements on the African continent yes but 
look, Basil, you have to understand this. We are a certain cadre of people. Let's call it a cadre. Let's call it a vanguard. The masses know nothing about this. Believe me, you go down to Kentucky right now, you know what I'm talking about. Listen, brother, that's I know. What I'm saying. That's and that's what I'm part of what we have to do now. We still have to continue to educate people but, but, in regards to some history. But if they don't, if they can't feed themselves tomorrow because there is because the, the, the country is done what it's done, that's it. Let me let me give you here's the way I look at it. This is my little Malcolm book. If you look at this, let's let's say Let's see, I'm just putting this here so I can see it for myself. Okay, this is okay. The, the less pain. Oh man, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm having, I'm having uh, literary orgasms on this thing. Really? Okay, now if you see, like if this is a spear, you like the tip of the spear. I'm saying that, I'm saying that we, whatever, we're at the that tip of that spear. You see? We're at the tip, that's we're at the tip of the spear. Let me give a better example. Uh, I, I, Ice Cube. When he went and did what he did, it doesn't matter what he did. He was now at the very top of that spear. If he would have pierced through, okay, then he pierces through, everybody else floods in. I'm just he, I'm just talking any movement. Pierce through. Then you flood in, and you can have all the arguments you want, but we haven't even pierced that that veil. That's what I'm trying to explain. So and, the strict and, and we don't have strategy and tactics, and, that's my right. problem. And there's a multi there has to be a multi prong movement to go ahead and address this. Let me give you another example. All right, in January, the United Nations formed a commission to look at police violence against African, they call them African Americans in the United States. All right? So this is a United Nations commission. They're looking at this stuff. So they had testimony. They spoke to, well, they spoke, they had testimony about 44 cases of police mm. violence that occurred in the United States against African people, mm. okay? Very, very interesting. And of course, there's a whole gamut of people who's included in that. I understand. You got folks from the Caribbean. <laughs> you got folks from Africa. You got folks from born here. Yes, yes. You got folks from all over. But that's a race, again, that's race. Look, let me put it this way. The reason... But I'm not dealing with the race. I'm dealing with the United Nations Commission. I understand that, but they, they're trying to solve a police problem. The police problem is this. If you're born in Long Island and you be watching Star Trek and Hutch or whatever have you, and they they put you in the, in the whatever have you, you never you never dealt with any black culture at all, and then you, you ganged up. It's like another gang. It's, it's ridiculous. The problem is not that. The problem is that, first of all, they shouldn't be here. You know? It's as simple as that. They shouldn't be patrolling. You shouldn't have an occupying army. They, 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 if, you know, when they said, uh, what is defund the police? I said, you're some idiots. Yeah. You don't defund the police. No. You you demilitarize the police. Yeah. If you want to do it, demilitarize you the police. You radically restructure and, uh, the police departments. And at the same time, you go ahead and begin to try to develop community oversight, which we would really call community okay. control. Okay, that, but we I'm, need community control of all the institutions in our community. But part of the problem is you know what the system does. You, hey, come on, we know you from the you, you on from the Bronx, Larry Davis. At the, you know he's he was whatever. At thirteen, they turn him out. Make the police make him be a mule. But anyway, whatever they did, now all those kids at 13, that same age, that same era, what they do, they make sure they got them assistant to get them a record so they couldn't become police officers. They can only become informants. They can only be the mules. That's what they, so it's the system. Yeah, That's of the, course. But, but, and, and if we look, talking once again about Judas and the Black Messiah, William O'Neill was busted and actually went ahead and was turned when he was like 17 years That's old. That's my point. So my point is not is not to say, well, what, now we're going to deal with it now. No, we got to we got to get first. Oh, come on. You the, the the answers are obvious, but I don't even want to deal with that. My point is even to fight, you need some money. When when that brother when they if they let all the brothers out of jail and, and they, they got to go home, their families cannot support them. No question. They need reparations. No question. They need, yeah, no In question. In fact, I go further than that. When they put, they go put this commission or whatever, have it. Okay, so, okay, let's do the good faith thing. While you do this commission, when this commission, as soon as it, it, it starts, then all, all, I'm going to say ADS, all, whatever, they should have debt relief, debt jubilee. Well, well, what about the white people? Well, I don't care about them. I'm not talking about the white people. They need debt jubilee. Why do they need debt jubilee? Because, I'll give you another one, if, they, if you're going to put, a, a, my whole thing also, if you're going to put an ankle bracelet on somebody, what company makes that ankle bracelet? Why are we paying, well, the, part of that profit should go back to the family, whatever. However, there are all, all, all ways to do it.
But if you're just going to go, we're going to depend, we're going to go to the United States, well, I don't know, whoever we're going to go to. And I'm not saying that's the only way, but I'm saying that the, the idea, remember, Brother Malcolm was talking about internationalizing the struggle. He was talking about going ahead and taking the case of African people in the United States to the United Nations, but which is one of the reasons why he ended up being uh, executed. Okay. Again, I love this example. That was that era. That's all he knew. At that era, nobody said, nobody talked about the lineage of ADOS. This would, didn't come up. This, this, the OU and the statistics. In fact, that was even before this whole this whole uh, African, Caribbean, whatever you call it, wave came in. That was long after he was gone. Well, his mother was from St. Lucia. That's, no, no, his mother <laughs> was from, uh, from uh, uh, um, uh, Grenada. But that's not the point. The, 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 I'm just trying to say, look, and his father was ADOS. But my point is not, the, forget the label, I'm trying to explain to you at this particular, at that particular point it happened, they didn't have this wave of, 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 of whoever, Mexicans, uh, uh, Canadians, Australians, uh, uh, all these people did not come in and then start suing, oh, 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 oh what do you teach teachers, black people? No, dude, we need some of that. You know, we're, 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 we're deprived, we're, 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 we're suffering. Come on. But during the Harlem Renaissance, think about how many of the folks who participated in that were from the Caribbean. Okay. I'm I just know. saying. I'm just saying. That's not again, my point. You're trying. You're trying. You're not, you're not understanding what I'm trying to say. I'm understanding if they, if what you're trying to say. If they're from the Caribbean, then let them deal with the... Okay, let me go back to the Nigerians. Okay. When a Nigerian comes to me, I say, oh, really? I said, oh, uh, Ken Sarawila. Well, you know Ken Sarawila? They, they say, they say, huh, who are you talking about? I said, well, he was, when he was down there, you know, in the Delta, f uh, fighting Shell or Exxon, whoever was down there, yeah. well, what were you doing? Oh, you was getting educated. Oh, you didn't join him in the fight. Oh, you didn't do that. Okay, that's, that's too long ago. Oh, you, we won't talk about that. Hey, how about all them girls up top? Uh, on top of the northern Nigeria, he's down the bottom, you know, Ken's down at the bottom, they're up the top. All them girls getting kidnapped. Why aren't you there fighting that? No, you over here, were you giving money to these people? And how do those people get those arms they got it from United States, blah, 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 blah. So my point is you come here and instead of joining us and really doing the fight, you up here funding the people that's killing your people that you done left. That is my biggest problem. And, and that's about? what I'm talking about the people after. You come up here from, 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 from Honduras, Guatemala, wherever you come up here from, right? Because, why? You, you, what are you coming here to do? You're coming here to be a good citizen. You're not coming here. You're not back there fighting those, fighting those people. But wait a second. Let me just ask you. Mm -hmm. All right? You are now splitting your time between North America and South Africa. Yes. How do you see yourself in regards to it? Do you see yourself as a Pan-Africanist? I live Pan-Africanism. Of course. But that's, but that's not my political... Look, Pan-Africanism is, 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 is not a political movement as far as dealing with the United States government. I'm dealing with the United States government through... I'm, I'm that's dealing, a problem. No, I'm dealing with the United States government through ADOS because they, because they, because they, can, because they, they can say, I'm an American citizen and this is what I'm doing. Okay? What I'm doing down in Africa is... Uh, what, if, say if we got reparations... Right, and you got money. All of a sudden, Africa wants you because you got money. Well, Africa wants you now anyway because we got more money than they definitely That's right. have but, in Africa. But my right point now. is, but, but, people, but people don't understand. Let me let me put myself even the poor here, folks. Here, here, put me on camera because this is this is very important. Even the poor folks. Because people ask me this all the time. People don't understand when you go when you go to Africa. You're, you're supposed to go with a program. That, that when I say you, you have to go, you don't go to to uh, to, to pimp. You, it's not like you go into to Thailand or whatever these places. And you you go be some tourist pimp, right? They they, they look, at, they need they need whatever they need. You're supposed to come with a program, right? If I was to advise anybody, right, I'd say, well, you come here, you come with a program that's going to help them, and maybe I don't even take any money for what I do because I'm I'm retired, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I'm. I'm using audio drama, which is what my discipline is. I'm using audio drama to, in fact, right, develop communities. I actually, I don't even live, I don't live in Cape Town anymore. I don't live in, in whatever. I live in a village. And what we're doing, they're growing food. We're, 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 we're da, 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 da. If I was to do anything from, if I was still here, still in, in America, whatever it is, right, then I would say, okay, I see what's going on. They have goats. 
why can't I be a person that has enough money, you know, to to help a, a goat herder with their goats and I get something back? Okay. That is that is something to do. But okay. most people go there, oh, you know, they go to do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Oh, I, I'm, I'm African, blah, 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 whatever. And it's to me, it's kind of weirdly crazy. But they're not coming. They're not coming. They're coming to take, not to not to give or to share or somehow to elevate. And I've seen it so many times. Well, you know, obviously, then that's bad. You know, the first level that we can connect with is just on a people-to-people level. That's to my go point. ahead and support people in that's regards right. to their struggles in their lives that's because right. we have so many more resources in many that's instances right. than they do. But you know, every time I go, remember that. Remember, I'm with the I'm with the people. And the first thing when I started to go, the first thing they say to, "Oh, you're here. Why are you here?" I said to make room for you. <laughs> it was my little joke, right? But my point is, they or everybody wants to come to the states. Believe me, I'm walking down the street. Hey, brother! Oh, you got room in your luggage to take me back? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, my my one dream is to get to the United States. It, it's weird. But you know what's happened? It's it's the same thing that happened uh, when the Irish and the Italians and the Eastern Europeans came. You know that there was a mythology in regards to how good the particular life okay. here would be. Okay. Now some of those people, as we know, went ahead and succeeded, but a whole hell of a lot of those people right. did not succeed. But they still, if they got kicked out of the country, they had a country to go back to. If Ados gets kicked out of the country, we ain't got no country to go back to unless we have made those relationships with those countries. I can go. I can go, look. I can. I can go to Belize. I can live in Belize, right? Of course, I can live a bunch of places in South Africa. I'm ready. I'm. I don't even want to be. I want to be in Malawi. Tell you the truth, <laughs> you know. What I mean? You know, no. there's a bunch of places on the planet I can be. Yeah, you I know. choose to be in South because my, to, to people I, I. And that's the other thing: to forge relationships. What am I? What am I now? Whatever. Anyway, uh, in 2014, yeah, 2014. I was working with this young, young, young kids, whatever you know, in their group. Not working, just advising them. They, they give da, 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 da. And I told them, I said, look, uh, send send two people up to the house, you know, in uh, send two people up to the house, you know, when I was in Alistair, but they're in Dimbaza, right? And you know, every Wednesday, whatever happened. Last you. grade at Dimbaza. Oh man, it's real too. And when and when, and when you no, when we you, can't really see your face because the the sun is sun. right there. Oh, poor baby. Oh, but it's all right. No, I mean, I'm you know, you kind of... You got to move over here. It was turn you around. Oh, no, no, you stay over there. I'm going to flip this whole thing. All right. We'll do it like this. It's all right. I know what Let me mean. just see see what it looks like. Yeah. Because since the sun was yeah. right behind you... Yeah, I know. All right. Now you're, now you're really yeah. good. Yeah, now, you we can, now we can really see who you are. Now, <laughs> see, but the thing is, then it will just push a little bit when we go, we'll go back to you. But the thing... See, 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 see the thing? And then... Only uh, one, two people were supposed to come, but only one guy came up, right? And basically, for three years, every once a week, he would come up. You know, we give him the transportation, we feed him, because me and my wife, we feed him, blah, blah, blah. It's a big house of time. For like three years, he was 25 at a time. For three years, he just followed me around, we just listened to me, blah, 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 blah. He wouldn't ask no questions. And then, now, right now, he's my guy in our program. Because he, he did he did the real thing. He instead of jumping in and I got to see what it, he listened to the elder, seen what he was doing, understood it. And then when he started to do his thing, I'm gonna tell you right now, he, uh, he's 20, I guess he's like 30 or whatever right now. Um, but when he thing. anyway, when he what he what he does now, he's worse than I was when I was twenty five. I mean as far as radical. You understand? This guy is amazing. You know, so now I've, I've duplicated myself in South Africa. That's why I can be here for so long because he's doing whatever. I go back, right? In fact, I go back for, for three months, and they ask me, ask me to do some stuff under him. You know, to to to, to inspire some other people. And I tell him the same thing: find a 13-year-old like you, and let's develop that person like that. That's it's, it's, it's like a program. It's like a thing that I'm doing. Okay, but. You don't get that. People come there, they want to push their money around, they want to buy this house, they want to do all the rest of that stuff, da da da. And it just doesn't work that way. That's I just, I mean, yeah, it worked that way, but it worked that way. You, as a, you, you're just, a, a, you're, you're a capitalist, you're exploiting, you know? Well, you know, as, as we see, you know, and this is just indicative of the amount of work that we have to do. But while there's a lot that we can do individually, there are more things we can do organizationally, but we have to really go ahead. The UNIA 
at this particular point is in Liberia. They're going ahead and attempting to try to do some projects there. In Ghana, you know, for some time, you know, we've had people like Dr. Jeffries and uh, James Smalls and others going ahead attempting, you know, they got the uh, Sanaa Lodge there, yeah. whatever. That's you in know, Ghana, trying yeah. to do some things in Ghana. So, I mean, there's a lot. There's some brothers and sisters now in Tanzania. We got the situation well, they've been in there for a long time, yeah. Yeah, and we got some, some, some folks who went not that long ago that, that we know. Just, I'm, 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 look, I'm, look, as you may or may not know, as a, a, in, in culture, in, in my field, I'm a, I'm a cultural revolutionary. However, in real life, I'm an evolutionary. What this basically means, I'm looking at all this stuff, and I'm saying, who? What's the structure here? What, what, what can be improved? If we're doing the same things, they, the, the, the so-called powers, the powers that be, they have they have the answers for that because they've been dealing with the same thing, the same kind of process, whatever have you. Let, let me go back to ADOS for a second, for something else. ADOS, they have these chapters, these, they, I call them nodes. You know what I mean? And what happens in a node, it's, it's like in Southern Africa, in Southwest, uh, Southwest Africa, there's a spider that exists. And they, have, and, and they make the, and they have the, the little nodes, right? And they put all the spider webs together to catch a bigger prey. You know? And that's what I see. Because once you have this one head, once they get rid of that head, i.e. Malcolm, then the organization falls apart. So you have to have the nodes doing the, doing the work. See, but that's one of the problems with the way that we were organized. And why, one of the reasons why we attempted to try to, you know, at the East in Brooklyn, develop collective leadership was so we could actually go ahead. If, in fact, you know, the leader was removed or whatever, then we could go ahead and possibly continue on. Oh, now, you know, of course, interestingly enough, I mean, you know, some other things happen, but, you know, we can organize that way, you know, based on, you know, some kind of uh, charismatic leadership, you know, individual right. charismatic leadership. It doesn't work. That's right. You know, uh, you see what happened. Chris Hardy. I mean, when Chris oh, Hardy gosh, was, was assassinated. Was I mean, oh, come man. on. Hey, you, know. you know? But here, or, or just locking people up, you know, Mangalisha Robert Sabuka, who's my hero, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, was, was like anyway, the, the point, the point, the ACANC. But, but you said David but, 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 but you talked about collective leadership, right? I'm going. I'm trying to say no. Well, yes, you can have collective leadership. I'm talking about node leadership. No leadership. In other words, say in Dimbaza, this guy, he's a, let's say he's a node. I no longer have to. I don't even have to guide him anymore. He may call me up. And we, we talk. Da, da 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 da. I'm not his leader. You see. I'm his advisor, which is what's supposed to be. We have people now that still want to be leaders. Whether it's collective or not, they still want to be leaders. They still want to be talking. You know what I mean? You don't talk to the masses anymore. You say, well, we're the brother, but brother. No, I'm sorry. Farrakhan don't need to be talking. Us guy don't need to be talking no more. You know what I mean? You write your stuff down. Don't be jumping in front of anything. You know, it just doesn't make any sense to me. See, but again, you got people who believe so strongly in individual charismatic leadership that, you know, they embody that in everything that they do. And even when they know that it's wrong. So when you take somebody like, uh, you know, Dr. Karenga or whatever else it is, I don't know what he has to follow him. Probably absolutely nothing in regards to, you know, whatever organizing he's doing. You know, he's got some chapters, etc., and some people in those particular chapters, but I mean, people are not going to respond to, to those particular folks in the same way that they've responded to but, uh, Dr. Karenga. Okay. And, but again, I mean, even in regards to that, there's some issues and questions still that have to be resolved in regards to that. There's stuff happening just because of technology is going to be just quite interesting. You know, you, you know, uh, 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 Greg Carr and, and, and Karen Hunter got the whole... Uh, uh, a narrative going that's that's for more academic and stuff like that and it's great da, 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 da. but let me give you an example this is what i really hate every time i understand it that that um what's the name uh the the the, the, pre the reverend that ain't got no church uh, reverend al you know what i mean reverend al on tv now think about this first of all why are you talking right he is wait he you know we, why you know the answer to that I, already i, I know <laughs> but here we have here we have an, a, an ex an ex uh, informative informant now informing people and, and, and getting reverence for everything now, now on that MSNBC you know how many current CIA or, or current uh, whatever you call them uh, retired and now we got the the, the, the 
the uh, the agents as well as the informants are now giving us uh, controlling our news. This is ridiculous. I'm going like, whoa! How, do, how does this work? Why are people even paying attention? You don't have to pay attention. That's my point. The nodes. See, I can make. So if I if I look, listen to if I just take um, uh, uh, this guy named James, James uh, Corbett, yeah, the Corbett report. If I just take Tim Corbett, he's in Japan, but he's a Canadian citizen. I just take his information, right? And I just take Max Kaiser, right? And I'm now let's say to say Greg Carr. Just if no, uh, yeah, just those three people. That that knocks out anything MSNBC can say. But people are not going to do that. Why? I have no idea. I don't know why they're mesmerized with you know with with uh, uh, what's the guy from the Bronx that we kicked him out. She's been kicked out. Uh, that Chris Hayes or whatever his name is. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know all these people are turncoats when they get this money. Well, you know it's interesting because you know we got the interesting thing in terms of Chris Hayes is found out that he was from the Bronx and went to uh, Stevenson High School because of Desus and Mero. He showed up on their program and he went know. to school. What's that? Desus, oh, you don't know about Desus and Mero? No. Desus and Mero is the uh, the new Salt and Pepper crew. It's uh, dark. Well, you know, a brother dark. And a Dominican who had a, I guess at one particular point, uh, you know, they had some kind of internet something. Oh, oh I know you did comedian people. Yeah. The comedy. Oh, I know you talking about. But now they got a talk show, of course, yeah, yeah, which yeah, some yeah. people want to attempt to take them somewhat seriously about. Yeah, but what, what In the mean? same way What's that, you know, we've got Trevor Noah from South Africa, where some people go ahead and go to him. For information, aside from the fact that he can present it in a way that's somewhat common. But that's the other thing, man. The Trevor goes back all the time, so he has some sort of... But remember, he's still a status now. He can't go places I go, because they know who he is. You see what I'm saying? He's beyond that now. It's like, it's like the whole thing with all these celebrities. When they become a celebrity, they're now functioning in a different... They should be doing different things. I love when, when, when Ados first came out, and Reparation came out. He did, a, he did a really precise thing that made sense. You know what I mean? So I trust him. I know he does a lot of reading, so I trust him on that front. front. But I'm not, he's not going to be, he's not one of the nodes. He's where he is. And people always grow and change or whatever, or, or, or transform or whatever it is. You know, Vince, this guy, uh, the comedian, uh, Bill Maher, he done lost his mind. That boy is just gone. You know what I mean? And so many people running for it. Like, that's what I do. Instead of him, I'd go, I go to Jimmy Dore. I go to Gray Zone for my information. Why do I have to? I don't go to Fox or NBC. I go, I go to, to, to Aaron Maté. I, I well, go to Jimmy Dore. I go to Jimmy you know. Dore was a comedian. I mean, what happened? I mean, in regards to this, because interestingly enough, he was coming on at 7 p.m. on Thursdays before me. Yes, All right. Sir. Now he's off because there's some kind of legal issue, and I don't know what the legal issue is. Well, he's a big guy. He's got his own. He's got his, he's, he's big. But I don't, I don't want to be, my point really is, and, and comedians don't sleep on comedians. Most of them are very smart. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's no question about smart, it. But they, but first of all, they read. <laughs> That's the other thing. <laughs> oh, I just got this. I just heard this thing of Betty Shabazz. Oh, I'm reading this book now here, and Betty Shabazz, I got to send you this link. Betty Shabazz gave this talk in, in California in 1971. And it was, it's an amazing thing. It's just an amazing thing. I'm trying to see if there's like that. Get that. Anyway, but my, my real point really is that what, it's like who informs you? Where, where do you get your information, you get information from? from? And then how do you act How do you act on that information? Yeah. That is the problem that yeah. we have today. Right. And one of the issues, of course, is with the Internet, there's more information available than, you know, we've had access to before. But then again... How do you filter that? That's right. It's overwhelming. How do you determine what is real and unreal? This is One of the problems we have is that people are so ready to actually present something that they saw on yeah, the internet as yeah. being a fact yeah, yeah. that it becomes crazy. Yeah, yeah. And I know this in regards to folks who really should know best. That's that's the problem I have. I know people that should know better. I'm going, well, where did you get this from? What does that mean? Huh? Huh? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know. well, where's your, as they call it, data? Where's the so people will your, tell me talking? something and I'll say, okay, that sounds cool. And then I'll have to double check it. Yeah. You know, that's one of the reasons. got to go ahead and double check it. That's one of the reasons. Actually, I like uh, this guy, uh, James Corbett, out of Japan, like I said. I like him because he gives his footnote. When he posts, if you know from my post, my things are what called creative commons. Most people don't even understand that. They're, they're up there doing this YouTube standard or whatever have you. Creative Commons, you can use my stuff. Just just credit, credit me. But 
people don't even know some basic thing like that. You know, and then you're, you know, you, oh, it's, it, it's just crazy. Look, let's end this here because, and then let me turn it around. We can do go to another subject, but you know, uh, I don't even yeah, know listen, what I got. Man, we can just kick it, just kick it live, kick it live, kick it.